Welcome back, everybody. I'm Lisa Hillary. What happens in the world of sports often parallels the peaks and valleys of the times, but perhaps never more so than today. The level of impact the coronavirus has had on sports is unprecedented. But if history is any indication, we will bounce back, no matter how long it takes. This isn't the first time the sports world has been impacted by world events. The Olympics was canceled five times due to World Wars I and II, the latter of which caused the cancellation of the Masters from 1943 through 1945. Some of baseball's best known stars, Joe DiMaggio, Ted Williams, and Jackie Robinson, enlisted during the middle of their careers. But at President Franklin D. Roosevelt's guidance, baseball continued and a World Series champion was crowned every year. Following the assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963, the NFL played two days later. Pete Rozelle called it his greatest regret as NFL commissioner. The sports world came to a halt following the attacks of September the 11th, 2001. The NFL postponed a week of games. Baseball shut down for more than a week. Ten days after the attack, it returned, fittingly to New York with Mike Piazza hitting a dramatic go-ahead home run in a Mets victory. And who can forget President Bush's perfect first pitch in Yankee Stadium ahead of Game 3 of the World Series? But this is the first time the impact has been so widespread and seemingly without an end in sight. No March Madness, no shining moment for college basketball, seasons suspended and championship runs halted. Opening day delayed with no sense of when play ball will become reality. But if history is any indication, sports will return, as will the crowds when the time is right. Who knows how long that will take, but one thing is for certain, the return of sports will bring the return of normalcy unlike we've ever seen.